Hello, my awesome Aries. I miss you, Aries. Hope you're doing wonderful wherever you are. Aries, you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. First, as usual, we're going to ask what's coming up for you, what you'll be dealing with, facing in your life, and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate. Whoever it is you're thinking of concentrating on while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not, first, we're going to ask how this person is doing at this time and how they are currently relating to you emotionally, what's on their mind, what they're thinking, feeling at this time, especially in relation to you, Aries. Universe, please step and show very clear and important messages for the sign of Aries, for Aries' highest good, please. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Aries in their life and how is Aries currently doing on their soulmate journey What's coming up for Aries in their life? And how is Aries currently doing on their soulmate journey? Let's see, Aries, what's popping? You're missing your soulmate. A breakup is showing up here. Hmm. The tower. It's like you didn't expect to miss your soulmate so much. This is you missing them, feeling sad. You love this person still. So even though you're not together right now, there's a breakup showing up clearly. And you're missing them. You still love this person. Yeah. You're trying to be strong in this situation. Trying to give it time to see what's going to happen, where this is going. Hmm. You're trying to be strong not to feel heartbroken. You're going to be reuniting with some people. This shows um, celebrations, gatherings, parties, outings. That's good. Yeah. Don't isolate yourself. Yeah. Definitely spend time with people that are there for you, emotionally supportive of you. Let's see. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Aries and how is Aries currently doing on their soulmate journey? What's coming up for Aries? And how is Aries currently doing on their soulmate journey? You're trying to concentrate on other things to distract your mind. Um, you are very much concentrating on your job, business, finances, money, profit, investments. Yeah, financial stability, financial independence. You're doing other people's jobs, though. There's a lot of um drama going on at your job people are not doing their jobs and uh you are doing more than your share yeah you have to be fair to yourself don't do other people's jobs no they're getting paid to do it let them do it yeah you're doing other people's jobs mm -hmm. because they're not finishing what they're supposed to be finishing whether they're incompetent or lazy or too busy gossiping yeah a lot of drama going on uh, mismanagement is showing up at your place of employment. You see this? This is drama at your job. Mm. Wow. You still love this person, but you're not reaching out to them. You really would like to reconcile with them, but you know that they're going to have to meet you halfway. Yeah, that they need to show you uh, that, yes, they want something better uh, to happen, that they want something more steady, consistent. Yeah. You don't want to waste your time on frivolous connections. You want something solid. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Aries and how is Aries currently doing on their soulmate journey? You're waiting to see what's going to happen with your soulmate connection, whether they're going to reach out to you or what. Mm -hmm. A lot of drama going on at your job. This is draining you emotionally. Yeah, you're not sure what's going to happen with your soulmate. You really would like to reconcile, but you know that they're going to have to prove themselves to you. Yeah. Hmm. 
You're going through a lot emotionally. Yeah, you are tough though. You're supposed to be show us what's coming up for Aries and how is Aries currently doing on their soulmate journey? Yeah, this is you meeting people of quality, new people entering your life. Yeah, that you share past lifetimes with. So you're supposed to meet them again in this lifetime. This is you meeting people of quality through some kind of social gatherings, interactions, um, outings, parties, celebrations, mutual friends and acquaintances. Hmm. You have some drama unfolding between different people. Don't let people drag you into their drama, into their gossip circles. Yeah. Stay away from people who gossip, who are negative, who are nosy, who have drama. Yeah. Who are jealous. Yeah. Don't let people drag you into their drama. Don't take sides. Stay neutral. Mm-hmm. Wow. Hmm. Universe, please show us. What's going on currently with that soulmate of Aries? That Aries um, is not with at this time, but is missing. Huh. You know, please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Aries. And how is that soulmate of Aries towards Aries at this time, especially emotionally? What's going on currently with that soulmate of Aries? And how is that soulmate of Aries towards Aries at this time, especially emotionally? Oh, they in love. So for this to show up in position one, King of Cups shows me that not only do they love you deeply, genuinely, but they aware that they love you. It's, they're not in denial about their feelings for you. So they know it's not some kind of crush that's going to fade away. They truly do love you, but they don't express it. They don't make you feel loved for some reason. They don't show it like they should. Yeah, you they really think seriously of you. Yeah, this person is very serious about you. But, oh boy, this shows wishy-washy behavior from them towards you. Yeah, they don't communicate with you effectively. Mm -mm. Yeah, they feel a lot of guilt for losing you. So this person uh, has emotional baggage. From past failed relationships that they need to concentrate on, work on, address. Because it's negatively affecting their connection with you. You see this? This is them feeling a lot of guilt, regret for losing you. So they feel they're losing you. They feel regretful, heartbroken. They have a lot of drama that they need to figure out, fix. They would like a new beginning with you, which is a good thing that they have good intentions. But the question is, will they follow through with consistent actions, right? Intentions on its own are not going to fix the situation. They need to follow through with actions to prove themselves to you, right? You know, be sure. They feel a lot of guilt. You know, be sure. What's going on currently with the soulmate of Aries and how is that so made of Aries towards Aries at this time, especially emotionally? They in love, yeah. Ace of Cups. This person loves you deeply, but they don't show it, don't express it. Yeah, you see, they didn't make you feel loved. Their cups are empty. Two of Cups is empty. Hmm. They want to come towards you with some kind of emotional gesture offer, but. This clearly shows me that this person has acted very immaturely in this relationship. They showing up as a page of swords in and out of your life, not communicating effectively, not expressing emotions, not making a solid commitment, not telling you where you stand, what to expect. <coughs> yeah. They spying on you to see what's going on in your life. Universe, please show us. What's going on currently with the soulmate of Aries? A lot of you are dealing with Pisces. And how is that soulmate of Aries towards Aries at this time, especially emotionally? Yeah, you're going to be meeting new soulmate of quality. Someone who is strong, someone who is dependable. Hmm. 
they missing you a lot. This person that you're letting go of for now is missing you a lot. This is them feeling sad, regretful, reminiscing of you. Yeah, you see, my two least favorite chord cards to describe person's behavior. Page of Swords and Knight of Wands. Yeah, this person did not show you respect, appreciation. They didn't make you feel loved. No. Mm -mm. Yeah, look at this. Look at this mess over here. Nine of Swords is showing up twice from two different tarot decks. So this person does, in fact, blame themselves for losing you. The good thing is that they see clearly they messed up. The question is, what will they do about it to fix their situation? Mm-hmm. It's in their hands to be fixed, right? They need to fix it. Yeah, they need to take charge to fix this situation, to make amends, whether they will or not. Well, that's going to depend on them. Yeah, you cannot make them do something unless they want to do it, right? You, which they want to, but mm -hmm. let's see. Universe, please show us. What's going on currently with the soulmate of Aries? Yeah, you are very important to this person. They tried to let you go. They really did try, in fact, to completely release you, let you go, and they're not able to. Wow. Yeah. New soulmate entering your life. My favorite king of all kings, king of pentacles. Yeah. Someone of quality, someone who communicates effectively. Communication is like the most important thing in relationship. Without communication, you, we have no relationship, right? Without communication, there's no relationship to speak of. So this new soulmate, if you allow them to come into your life, would be able to offer you a healthy relationship. Remember, Aries, you have free will to decide who you want or don't want to be with. Mm -hmm. We're going to go into your extended reading, Aries. We're going to obviously ask about this person, but also new soulmates entering your life that showed up as King of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. First, we're going to ask, however, about this soulmate's true, genuine, long-term intentions and plans for you. What are they planning long-term? Then we're going to ask what they currently hiding from you, what they have up their sleeve, whether they're hiding it on purpose or can't communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle the soulmate connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life, including new soulmate entering your life, the king of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, Energies, new chapters, new beginnings in your life, also your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships, whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So Aries, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below, and I'll see you there. Love you guys.